Hey there everybody, how's it going? This is Bronson from Fretz RV here in Satterton, Pennsylvania. Excited to show you another product from Jayco. This is the Melbourne 24L. This is a model that's based off of their Mercedes chassis platform. I'll take you around the outside, the inside, show you some features. See if this might be the coach for you. So as I said, it's on the Mercedes chassis, so you're going to get that V6 diesel engine, great on gas mileage. Um, overall well-performing motor. This is on the more of a non-premium version of a Mercedes, if you want to say. I'll show you the inside, kind of the differences. Still has all the great safety features, but not the big, you know, fancy touch screen that's on there. All the touch displays. But with that comes a more affordable price point, which you'll find on this Melbourne. So coming around the outside here, we do have a fiberglass front cap, which is really nice. This is the, uh, the color scheme that comes with these. Over here on this side, you'll find you've got a big power awning. There's an LED light up there. A couple storage bins over on this side, nothing too huge. You do have the frameless tinted windows, which is going to be great for privacy with a nice tint. And overall, it gives it a really nice look. This does have the dual wheel and tire set up here on the back. That's really all there is functional on this side. You've also got a propane quick connect if you want to bring your own grill along with it. You can hook up here on the side. And the rest is just fridge ventilation. You've got your hot water heater, which is gas and electric. And then you've got the furnace exhaust for your heater. You come around the back side here, you'll find there's not really much here. You've got the bumper with the end caps. You are set up for towing. It's rated for 5,000 pounds. And there is a small backup camera there on the back. So when you get into reverse, you can see what's going on behind you. There's a back window here. You come along the back side. This is a pretty deep slide out model. So it's really nice to give you that extra space on the inside for when you're walking around. So you don't feel too, uh, too compact in there. And on top of your slide out, you do have the slide topper keep some branches off there even the majority of the rain as you come down below you do have some storage back here right now the 30 amp cord is there but for any other goodies that you want to bring along you can stuff right in there next to that you'll find your water hookups you've got your city water connection you've got your black tank flush to flush out that black tank and then you've got the dump for the black and gray holding tanks which will come right out from your sewage drain down below here and then they have these cool fixtures where you can kind of flip the dials around for wherever that you uh, need the water and then you've got your outdoor shower and a water pump and a light switch out here coming along here one of these will house your generator the other bin will be another storage bin so this driver's side over here is going to house the bigger section of your storage while the other side is just smaller sections of storage and again you've got a generator on board firing up your appliances if you're boondocking so that's what's going to be stored right under there and you've got the generator exhaust right next to that coming along i'll squeeze by here take a look at this thing again from the front really nice sleek look on these let's hop up onto the inside show you what we're working with there with the layout all the features they have don't want to forget to mention on the roof it is pre-wired for solar so you can get a solar panel get the solar controller installed on the inside here Get you to take a look at this layout here before I get a little in depth with it. You've got a rear queen bed that's on the slide out along with your U-shaped dinette. You can get optional theater seating here. Then you've got the bunk over cab. So you can have that extra sleeping space for bringing any friends, kids, grandkids along with you. And here's the front Mercedes chassis, which we'll get through in a bit. Starting when you walk in, you do have a screen door attached to your front door. There's a blackout shade on the window also so that you can close that over for privacy. As you step in, you've got a little bit of storage over your head. Next to that, you have your main controls for your generator start and stop. You can bring your slide out in and out from here. You can check your tank levels. And you've got your tank heaters on board. So if you're out in the cold uh, temperatures and you want to put those tank heating pads on, you can flip that switch on right there. Water pump switches on, it looks like. So we'll turn that off. And then your water heater, you've got gas and electric for that coming down below you've got your main controls this does have the leveling system on here so you can power it on hit auto level you've got a main battery disconnect an awning switch and a couple of lighting switches and as you come up you'll find more light switches with some outlets and your flip up countertop extension with your sink area they give you this nice cover it's a nice round deep stainless steel sink on here love that you've got some more lights some more storage cubbies. I'll give you an idea what this one looks like. This has your Sony DVD player, but that goes back nice and far for you. Really big residential size convection microwave on board. So since you don't have an oven, 
you can use your microwave like one. And come standard with the two burner propane cooktop. Perfect for what you need. Now blow that I'll open up one of these. Got some nice long drawers, they're pretty wide. Perfect depth as well. Next to that, maybe a nice space for a waste basket, some other cleaning products you might need and throw them right down there. Coming next to that, you've got your fridge. This is the gas electric fridge. So if you're traveling, you wanna run it off the propane, you can do so. You got plenty of shelves on the door, in the middle, in your freezer. Plenty of space up here. Definitely fit a week's worth of uh, foods that you'll need along with you. Drinks also. Back in this door, you'll find your bathroom, which is still great, decent size for a coach that's only about 25 feet in length. Got your toilet, your shower. It's got the sliding door. It's got a uh, skylight in there for extra headspace. And you've got a vent with a fan in there, exhaust fan, window in here. Nice little stainless steel bowl in here for you. And a couple storage bins down below. And the medicine cabinet is nice and tall here. As you come around to the back bedroom, there is a curtain for your privacy. So you can slide this across, be able to close off the space if you've got anyone sleeping towards the front section. As I said, you've got the queen size bed here. There's some lighting underneath the top there. And then you've got two storage cubbies. A couple windows over here. Got a nice view out the back. You'll be able to take a nice look at that. On this wall, there is a spot for a TV. If you want to get one mounted, you'll put it right there where that sticker is. And then next to that, you've got your cable hookups. This mattress, what it does, since the slide out is pretty deep, when you bring it in, it'll actually flip over in half. That allows for the slide out to come in. So for those of you thinking that, uh, you know, you might want to take a nap while someone's driving, uh, you won't be able to do it back here just because of the fact that the bed has to be flipped over and coming next to that you've got big uh wardrobes here we'll open this one this one is extremely deep i could easily go in there stand in there probably fit two people in there but you've got some hanging space up there you've got the rod your manuals are in here right now but there's a pole with a tabletop this does have these swivel around seats they can turn face this way and the tabletop can be mounted right there into the floor so if you want to have extra seating around your U-shaped dinette, let someone else join the party, swivel those seats around. You got a nice seating spot uh, right there. But overall, yeah, really huge wardrobe on here. And you've got a couple drawers down below that, which will slide out. They're about the same, that are, the same size as the ones in the kitchen area. And these lower ones are really deep, really long, and also perfect width to them. Close those over. And next to that, you need some canned good storage, all of your food storage. You've got great shelves on here. You've got a pull-out pantry. See the rails that's on. When you're done, you can just close that on over. Again, U-shaped dinette. This is perfect for seating two on either side. Maybe a fifth person in the middle if you can. There's cup holders along the back seats. This dinette table is removable. It can drop down. And then on your windows, you do have these nice big blackout shades. They're really easy to operate. You just pull them down. And then there's awning style windows. You can rotate the dials and it'll just whoop, flip up. And then above that, you've got some more storage. Overall, a great amount of storage on this unit. Um, this, this wardrobe really does make a huge difference in terms of storage, bringing clothes along with you. Climate control will be up over there. And up above the cab section, you'll find your, your bunk your bunk over cab. So there's a couple booster seats up here. That's where those black cushions are. That's for when you rotate these seats around, you can sit up a little bit higher so your knees aren't digging up right to your chest. But then there's a ladder up here to attach to here. And then you've got some little storage netting back over there. You do have the TV which swings out so you can have a nice view, watch something while you're sitting on a dinette or even in the bedroom still, if you don't have the TV mounted back there for yourself. And in the front cab section, like I said, not the big fancy touchscreen that comes on the more premium version of the Mercedes chassis, uh, but still an overall very comfortable chassis. You got the leather wrapped steering wheel. Um, this still has Android Auto, Apple CarPlay on this screen, the backup camera on there. So you can you still have a lot of great features. It's just not as smart and tech gadgety, I guess, if you want to say. Um, overall, yeah, the Mercedes seats, 
So you can adjust. Overall, one of the best chassis I think to drive going down the road on a long trip. Mercedes has the most length for giving you leg room in that and being able to adjust your seats. So you can't go wrong with it. Other than that, this is the Jayco Melbourne 24L here at Fretz RV of Sowerton, Pennsylvania. Again, my name is Bronson. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out in the comments. I'll try to get back to you if I can. Give a call at the dealership if you have any questions, ask for me. I'll be glad to help you there as well. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to keep up with further content. I've got plenty of Class A, B, C trailers, fifth wheels bringing to the channel here. Keep up with the next one and I'll see you guys then. Thank you.